guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have some tea for you, us today. In my Lily Pulitzer mug that I have. Guys, the flu is for real. Let me tell you. Tea is about all I can have today. Hi, Wellington. Did you come to say hi? Yeah. <gasps> Mr. Wellington just came out. He went outside for 30 seconds and he's back in. There you go. <sighs> Friday night, I was fine. I went shopping, went into Marshall's because I wanted to use a gift card that I had and just get some spring stuff. Okay, here, come on. Some spring stuff. And all of a sudden, I started feeling terrible. I thought it was a hot flash. It was not. I came home and I spent Friday night and all night long with the norovirus, the stomach, a mess. It was awful. I almost called an ambulance. I felt so terrible. Yesterday, I spent the entire day in bed and today, hi baby. And today I am feeling well enough to sit on my floor in my living room and bring you a video. I'm not a hundred percent by any stretch. I put a little makeup on to try to feel better. Yeah, but it was a rough weekend. Now my boys were happy because I was in bed literally all day yesterday. I know. But I have a Dollar Tree haul for, okay, okay, thank you. I have a Dollar Tree haul. There is no particular order. And I'm also freezing. So there's that. It's I haven't had much to eat in the last couple days. But I'm having tea today. And I had some yogurt this morning. So that's good. So we're going to show you all the things I got. I picked up one of these Clay Dino World kits. It comes with one, two, three, four, five colors of clay. You can make dinosaurs and it even comes with some googly eyes. I got this from my friend's little boy. I thought he would enjoy this. Um, this is distributed by Greenbrier. So everybody should have these at their store. There was a couple, I think the other one you can make cars maybe, but I thought he would enjoy the dinosaurs. So I grabbed that for him. Hi baby, can I help you? Oh, he, wa he wants to sit on my lap. You know, that's what we do around here. Um, I, oh, I picked up this notebook. Guys, tell me this is not everything. I have the other one that came out in the set, and I actually bought a second one over here for Sarah. Sarah's my niece. Um, but I love these notebooks, and I think they're just fantastic, even just for the cover art. And look at the metallic gold. So I grabbed one of those for me. Um, also, for me, I grabbed some scented pens. I don't know if they write well, but they I'm sure they smell good. Red, green, and blue. Thank you for telling me the colors, but it doesn't tell me the flavors. I mean, I'm going to pretend like they are probably blueberry, apple, and cherry, if I had to guess. But they only had a three-pack, and this is... An import, which is funny because it says it's made in PA, but then I maybe they got it from Canada. I don't know, but I grabbed some pens just because they're fun. Um, I kind of went beauty crazy at this one store, so I'll hold off on all that. We'll try to put things together. I grabbed one more of these. One of you gave me a fantastic idea about using these in a diaper bag which I obviously have no need for a diaper bag. However, I do have a need in my car for um, like little trash bags. So I'm gonna open these up. This one's for me. I liked the color. I did get Sarah, my niece, one for her dogs, or her dog. But I thought these are gonna be fantastic. Let me get, see how big it is, okay in the car for a little trash bag because I'm always like looking for a little trash bag in the car. Oh, they smell fresh. But I thought this is perfect to have in the car for me. And it says on here, keep this bag away from children in different languages. It's a good quality bag because it's made to hold poop. Also good for a sick bag. That's on my mind right now. Um, if you have car sick children, 
this would be fantastic in the car because I think it would be fine. But it's a nice sturdy bag. And I'm going to use this in my car as a trash dispenser. So when I'm out and about, especially like on a road trip or something, you're always needing, I'm always needing a trash bag. So, And it's a perfect size. And then if I stop for gas, I can just throw it away or take it home. I'm even going to keep this one. I don't know how many it comes with on the roll. Um, but there might be a, oh, 20 bags. So I think that's good. And it's reusable. You can just take the top off and drop another roll of bags. I don't know if standard bags fit. I don't know guys much about these. I don't have a dog. Wellington, what you doing over there, buddy? But this will stay in my glove box and I will have trash bags on the go. And Sarah also will have trash bags for her rotten little dog, who I love. All right. I also used Dollar Tree bags as trash bags, so I thought that would be more convenient. Um, I picked up this luggage tag because why? It's a coffee cup, guys. This was not even a question if I needed this in my life. Um, do I need a luggage tag probably not but because I think I have luggage tags however it's in backwards you get one job Dollar Tree one job but what you do is you feed it through here maybe like down over or something and it clicks in place somehow I'll figure it out but it comes up through here and you snap it in place. And then on the back, I can put information, but I just need this on a bag somehow in my life. So that is for me because I, I live those lives, guys. Um, oops, I got a mess going on. Let me take this stuff out of the bag. I have that, I told you about my friend. I was supposed to go visit her this weekend at the rehab center where she's recuperating from a car accident, but obviously I didn't go anywhere because I'll use these for kitty litter uh, because I was not well and I'm not spreading the love on anybody. So I picked up some Easter bags, just two, to put her present in that I'm bringing because I thought these were spring and festive and I will be seeing her probably next weekend. I need to make sure this is out of my system and I'm not contagious anymore, which is why I haven't left my house. I also got her this pen because it has a big grip. I know she had two broken wrists and I'm thinking maybe this will help if she needs to write something down or if she wants to write something down and it's a happy pen. So I grabbed her that. Um, I got this notebook, it'll go in, I have this one and I got it for Sarah to go in her Easter basket. If it's getting overgrown, I'll just bring it to her. But I love these little books and these are crown jewels. So these, I believe, were a set that came out and there might be a third one, but I didn't see them. Like one store had these, one store had these. So I grabbed those for me. <clears throat> My throat also is not sounding good because I think I wrecked, I heard it when I was not well. I'm telling you, when I, I hit the jackpot of this one store, wait to see all this beauty stuff I found. I'm just trying to get everything, a semblance of some type of an order over here. Wait one second. I picked up some of the Tampico Zero Sugar. I really enjoy this. Um, this is Mango Punch. It would be great in an adult beverage, I'm just saying. Um, but I liked this for the last time I got it, so I grabbed it again. I was in the mindset when I was out shopping that I needed some more fluids. <laughs> Trying to reach behind me here, guys. Oh, I'll show you this. I saw this sign, and I was watching Sarah Jane on Chic on the cheap and she did some cute things with these i don't know if i will have time to take it apart and do any type of easter crafting this year much more but these do come off and i thought they are adorable little bunnies i moved them too much but anyway you get this sign that says easter bunnies stop here but these will come off and they're not even like stapled on they're just put on with like this little peg so they'll come right off 
and then they'll come off each individual. So if you want to put the side out, you can. We'll do a thumbnail. And if you don't want to put that sign out, you can take it apart. Use this for a sign and use this for decor. I don't know. I thought it was cute and I liked it. I have another Sarah Jane thing going on in here in a minute. Oh, I got my receipts. I'm working my way towards another gift card. Yes, it's only 25 points per receipt, but that's okay. That's 25 cents for every receipt you scan. And then if somebody signs up under you, you get like 2,000 points, 3,000, 4,000. They have different things. I think right now, if you sign up with my link in my description box, you get $2. So it's just fun. I have until Christmas time to cash in. All right, let's do this bag here. I picked this up which is just, a, I like these little bottles. I usually get them. I would not put this in the dishwasher or microwave. It will melt in both. Um, for my trip, I'm going to put iced coffee or I will make coffee and then put it in my refrigerator in my room so that I will have iced coffee because I enjoy both. So I thought, well, this is a perfect container just to stick in the hotel fridge and have cold iced coffee when I want it. I can also make iced coffee from my road trip and have it on the way. Speaking of coffee, they had some signs out. They had three different styles. I got the one that says, with coffee, anything is possible. If you remember successories, those posters that they would have, this is my kind of successory. I'm gonna put this in my kitchen, obviously, on a shelf. I'm also doing my kitchen this year or summer and bees, I decided. And when you see my Marshalls haul, you'll see something I picked up. But I grabbed this and it is in a glass with the gold. I liked the gold. So that'll go in my kitchen. I picked up a couple of these. I've already used the other two packages. Um, for my retreat that I'm going to, we're giving little table mate gifts. And this is going in, if you're watching from the, from the cross stitching community, and you're gonna be there. You too might get one of these pins. There's other things which I won't show you until I'm at the retreat, so nobody will see them who's going to the retreat because they're surprises, but I'm gonna put one little pen, one of these little gel pens in the package that I'm putting together because they're small enough, and I thought these would be fantastic. We have, you know, I mark on my patterns and things and a little pen if we wanna exchange emails or anything like that, so. And there are 10 in here. So I grabbed a couple packages of these, but I've already used. Like I said, I used the other two. And those pens write fantastic in case you needed to know. Um, on the Easter front, I liked this sign. I liked the color. I liked the bunny. And Sarah Jane took one of these and she glued it, painted it and glued it. And then it makes it a stand up sign. And I'm like, girl, you're a genius. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spray paint or paint this like white or brown or something. And look, you just hot glue it. And here was a thought I had. If you got yourself a pretty decent stand, maybe a little more sturdy than this, you could use Velcro and then change out the sign. But you just hot glue it to the back of the sign and then this can be a standing sign. And I don't have to hang it up. But they had this in pink and white in this tealy color and I think the pink and this blue said happy Easter and the white said welcome friends which I like the white and they all had different bunnies I like the white but I mean I like the welcome friends but I like this color better so I went with this egg which obviously can be hung as well but I'm going to just make a stand up out of it I have a place in my kitchen or my dining room where that can go um, speaking of trash, I have some in this bag and I know why I have it. Uh, oh, I found another receipt. I found these at the Dollar Tree, but these, they had out before, but these are shorter and they're short and round. So they're not as tall and thin. I think they probably have the same light in them. You always want to make sure that hasn't been pulled. And these are solar lights. Um, so when I do pull it, which I can pull it now, and then take this off. I only got two for my front yard. But 
And then they, um, ooh, they cast, you know, light down your walk. I'll just put them up here by my front. But if you don't know how these work, because at first I was like, how am I supposed to stick? You don't. You pull this out and you turn it over. And now you have the spike and you can get it all the way down into your dirt or mulch. And then, but there's a myriad of things. This comes off as well. So you could drop this like into a small potted plant if you wanted to just have it. I wonder, I wonder. No, that won't work. But you could just sit this in a potted plant if you wanted it closer to the ground. Uh, but you definitely need to have this clear and the sun needs to be able to get to it because it's a solar light. And these are great. I enjoy these for my front and they last about one season as far as I know, as far as I can tell you, they go for me. These will last about one season. But I like to have some light on my walkway out front. So I'll put that out. I'm about ready to get all my spring plants to get, or my spring plants, my plants ready for spring and summer. I have a few that I need to um, transplant. I got some new pots. I have a whole bunch of stuff over here that I picked up. I, ha I do that every couple summers. I repot. Um, I picked up two more packages of these for my retreat gift bags. Um, watch your packaging. I'm assuming they're downsizing. So this pack had six, but I saw some look the same, but only had four bags in it. So I grabbed two that I could find that were the six pack. And it's just part of the thing they're doing. Raise the prices and put less in the bag. I'm not sure the theory, but that's what I seem to notice. They're downsizing their packaging. So instead of six, you're getting four and they're charging you a quarter more. So you always want to evaluate like the drink mixes are not worth buying at the Dollar Tree anymore. I would go to the Dollar General, Big Lots, Walmart. Any other store is going to have your six pack of your drink mixes for still $1. So um, just as a heads up, as an aside. But I grabbed these. These are fantastic. They're just little um, organza bags with drawstring. You can use them for 100 different things. They have different colors. I like the plain white because that's how I roll. So I grabbed those. I just needed a couple more. And then I found these rubber stamps, which I'm getting back into my rubber stamp just to decorate things, not like rubber stamping. But these were cute. They have the llama. Hello, dream. I love llama. And then it says, find your way. I really liked this stamp. And these are fun. And I already have like the clear stamps that you use with these. And I have ink, so... I just grabbed it from my crafty space. We all need those things in life, right? Oh, I have some more stuff over here. I picked up a few more of these. These are the uh, Tillamook. These are the pepperoni. And I also saw them in teriyaki. Here's the thing with keto and teriyaki. Teriyaki typically has sugar in it because it's like a sweet and savory combo, which is delicious, but it's not something I can have. So I stay away from teriyaki, but I can have pepperoni. So I got the beef sticks and now I grab five of the pepperoni sticks. And these are perfect on the go snacks for me to have for my low carb, low sugar, high protein diet. These do have a little more fat, but they do have nine grams of protein in them for one stick. So I grab these. I like to have them on hand, especially in the summertime when I'm out riding my bike. I like travel convenience foods. Um, I picked up for Sarah for her classroom and it just says, be a nice human. And it has all like, I'm thinking about all the different skin tones and I love it. The inclusivity of this um, rainbow magnet and it is a magnet. So this will go in her Easter box, Easter bag, Easter whatever for her classroom or her house. But it just says be a nice human. And I feel like in today, we just need to be nice humans, you know? Um, I grabbed two of the Velveeta cheese sauce. Dollar Tree has always had these, but I was reading the ingredients and they're not terrible for me. Um, cholesterol wise, or not cholesterol, carbohydrate wise, I think... This whole pouch, hold on, where is it at? Has seven carbohydrates. Well, I won't eat this whole pouch. So I can make, just as a little treat when I'm feeling better and able to eat real food, 
um, some queso dip, just a little bit of the Velveeta with some spices or some salsa mixed in, I think will be delicious on some tacos or something. So I just grabbed two convenience foods. Sometimes we just all need them, right? Sometimes we just need some convenience foods, friends. All right, here we go. Now, I picked up another cat treat jar. This one just says, life is better with furry companions, which is true. Now, the boys had this in black and Wellington. I know who it was. Knock keeps knocking it off the counter and he broke the lid. But I don't know what I did with it. This There was a jar completely full of cat treats. He broke the lid and in my apple brain, I have no idea where I put the jar. And I don't know if I threw it away. I don't know. I came down here. I picked it up. I could have done something. I don't know. But anyway, I've got more treats and another jar to keep these in. He gets up on the counter and he knocks it off because he wants them. And I'm not here to give them to him. Because typically I'm sleeping. It's in the middle of the night. And he also knocked them off last night off the kitchen counter. The other package that I had out telling you these cats but he needed a new jar I had used to use glass but I've learned my lesson there um I also picked up some iron-on transfers for pride month it says keep looking up there may be a rainbow waiting for you and then you have the rainbow so you can use this on anything it's an iron-on transfer um, but I think it'll be fun on a t-shirt, maybe on the back of a t-shirt. I don't know. It was fun. And it was, oh, they're marking things now as like specialty. That's the first time I've seen this with their craft your square section. It says specialty. What that means, I don't know. Iron, oh, stitching ironing plus. So it must be their new section, but you even get directions on the back, which trust me is new around there. Um, I picked up two of these, oops, two of these letter boards, and I don't know if these are the same. One is pink and very colorful, and this one. So let's look at the pink one real quick. I know what they are. It's a letter board, but they're just little signs, and it says, bloom where you are planted. Don't quit your daydream. Do the right thing even when no one is watching. And they're like little letter boards and it's just a stand-up thing. But you flip them every day to something different. Positive mind, positive vibes. And so this one, these are also by that Crown Jewels company. Which I think are adorable. But let's look at this one and see if they're the same. If they have the same sayings. And this one says, oh no, happiness never goes out of style. Love is all you need. It's the little things in life. Oh, so they are different. So they don't just have a different vibe look-wise, but they do have different quotes. Which I think is fantastic to, to put out every, you know, if you can rotate them. Flip them when you want. Put them someplace where people will see them. I think they're great. So I did grab two. I'll see if Sarah wants one. Just in case I forget where my thumbnail is. Guys, I'm losing my mind. I'm I don't feel fantastic. Okay, for my friend who lost, you know, who had an accident and is in the hospital. Faith over fear. I thought this was very apropos. Her life is changing irrevocably and we need to be there to support her. So this is part of the gift that I'm bringing. Just a little notebook because she needs to write things down. All right, now we have all of our health and beauty stuff. So to put this stuff in, well, for Sarah, I got her this Ikanto The Magic Family. Um... Maribel, I think her name is. Sarah, my niece, is a teacher. One of her um, teacher friends has some little kids, little children, and they watched the movie and thought Maribel was Sarah. So I got this for Sarah because she wears glasses and has curly hair. That's the only reason they think she's Maribel. 
But I grabbed two. I got one for me and one for Sarah. Oh, also to go in my friend thing, I got her some tissues. It just says, yes, you can. Because we're going to be motivating. We're building people up this week. Okay, here is all the things I found. First and foremost, the SGX New York, which is a name brand. This stuff is like 7 or $8 in the store. And this is Beachy Texture Spray, which I love texture in my hair. Like, I love scrunching it up and getting my curls going and kind of going the... So, this will help. So, I grabbed two for me. Just some beachy hair. It's just some texture spray. Um, I got this. And I don't know what this brand is. Ethereal Skin Calming Moisturizer. Fragrance-free, lightweight moisturizer. And it's a comparative to Eucerin. Which I... So, I'm so dry. By the way, this is... Um, I got some questions again. I went and had a bunch of pre-cancer burned off my face. So all these red spots is pre-cancer. And the one on my neck, I don't know if I told you an update, but the biopsy came back abnormal. So I need to go back and they're going to remove more of this to get clear margins because it can turn into melanoma. So I'm having that done. So wear your sunblock. Uh, but this is supposed to be compared to a Eucerin cream. There's no scent to it, which is good because I use it on my face. So I'll try it out and see how it works. So I grabbed that for me. I picked up this. I found it. It's simply, it's raw sugar. Here's what's freaking me out a little bit about. It's not really freaking me out, but I think it's bizarre. Mm, it smells like cucumber. Is This is hand wash. And having hand wash in a container that you're having to touch with your hands before you wash it is just bizarre to me. So this will probably get squeezed into a hand soap dispenser when it's time to use it. But this is from Target brand. I, well, it's not Target brand, but I know that they have this at Target. And it's simply uh, sensitive skin. It's really basic ingredients. It is not tested on animals. And I know these are like 6 or $7, I think, depending where you live. So I grabbed one to try, and this is cruelty and vegan. So I'm not going to leave it in this because I like the pump, so I will squeeze this into a pump when I'm ready to utilize it. I picked up from my purse just some more hand lotion, the Nivea. I like these little tubs because I think they're great just to have on hand, um, especially like in my car. Um, I can't get it apart. Maybe I can't open it. Okay. Never mind, but it'll go in my purse. Also to go in my purse, I found some Body Cology. We know this is from Walmart. Just some hand lotion. And this is Sparkling Cranberry. I just, I use hand stuff all the time, guys. Or, or I may give this to somebody. I don't know. We'll see. But it's Sparkling Cranberry moist Hand Cream. Um, and then in the toothpaste department, I found Crest Pro Health Clean Mint two times the size. Um, it's just clean mint. I'm taking it with me on my vacation. So I needed some toothpaste. I use a different brand of toothpaste. I use a uh, physician's prescription brand. When I'm at home, it is $18 a tube, but it's high. Um, I need high fluoride for my teeth. So I use that. My doctor recommended it. My dentist. Um, but when I travel, I typically just buy a small tube of something. Okay. For my friend, I got her some face masks because who doesn't need some moisturizing face masks when you're healing? So I grabbed these Freeman brand, again, a Walmart brand. I like all, finding all of this name brand stuff, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is some fun. Then I found at this store these three packages. These are all lip. They are Formula 10.0.6 is the name of the company, I think. Yep. So it's Formula 10.0.6 is what it's called. I don't know what that means, but we it's just a vitamin E um vitamin f and vitamin c for your lips this one is multi-use lip balm it has rosehip oil oil and cocoa butter 
This one is vitamin F moisturizing lip balm, acai steros and mango butter. And this one is vitamin C revitalizing lip balm, sea berry oil and ceramides. And for $1.25, Easter baskets, ladies, Mother's Day, guys that you think would enjoy it. These are great little packaging. I'll open up this one, the vitamin F, because I know I will use that. But they're just little tubes. And I think this would be fantastic as a nighttime. Put it on my lips at night before I go to bed. Um, but they're just all different vitamin oils and lip balms and I'm like well these are fantastic right for little gifts or something for your Easter basket especially for your older older girls boys tweens teens I also found them at the same store that I found all of these items so they were putting out all the beauty stuff when I was there and I was kind of excited also at the same store I found these so these are Garnier Ombrelle Complete Sensitive Advanced Sunscreen. This is a 60 sunscreen for your face. So it is lightweight. It is hypoallergenic sensitive sunscreen and it's advanced sensitivity. And it is name brand. Like what the heck? At $1.25. Trust me, I pay just smells like sunblock. I pay a lot of money for sunscreen on my face, for my face especially. Um, and this is Mexerol Technology. Now, it has English on the front side and Spanish on the back. So I'm wondering, I think that's Spanish. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking it probably came from Mexico. If I had to guess. But it's Garnier brand. Like this is a name brand. Also, the same brand in a sunscreen stick. And this is 50. So when I'm out riding my bicycle and I need to put sunblock on, this is where I fail at this at sunblocking. Right here is is when I'm out on my bicycle. Is I fail miserably. So this is a sunblock stick that I can rub on my face, especially right here where you see all this red. This is where I get hit with the sun the most because my head is down at an angle. So across my bridge of my nose, my lips and face. And I can just throw this in my bike um, bag that attaches to my bike and rub this all over my face when I'm riding and I'm not getting it on my hands. Clock myself on the head here, guys. Sunblock is the way to go. So I grabbed these. I was so excited to see those because, like I said, I spend, I'm putting trash away. I spend a fair amount of money, guys, on the sunblock because I'm always getting burnt and I need to stop that. I also need to be better about spraying my neck and stuff. And the back of my neck, I can use that on back here so I don't have a red neck. All right, everybody, that is what I picked up at the Dollar Tree this week, and I hope you enjoy, and I have some fun videos coming out with some Marshall's clothes I got. I got some stuff at Kohl's. I got a few things at Lane Bryant, so I'll have a couple clothing hauls coming for you when I feel like I can put clothes on. All right, everybody, thank you for watching, and you have a fantastic day. Bye.